are very excited for this pre-Seattle movie review. Let's go again! Let's go again! <laughs> Ooh, Martin, that's the man. Don't you do that? You better get yourself a heart attack, man. <laughs> right in his pocket. I know, I know. <laughs> People, you can see we're very excited about this extravaganza because this is just kind of our prep before we get over there to see people in Seattle. This is a good rehearsal right here, so we're gonna try to put on a great show for y'all. And why not? It is a true extravaganza tonight with three movies. Some people wanted us to do four, but we didn't get a screen in for. Oh. Speaking of snot. Mm. Yeah, thank you for infecting the rest of us. Oh, y'all sick now? I am. I'm oh, getting you over really? my... You really? Yeah, he, yeah, luckily he got his, but not mine's coming right as we're about to go to Seattle. Oh, Martin, I like to share everything. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't shut, I don't shut y'all out like you do me. <laughs> I give you everything. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you might want to check your genitals in a couple of days. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I got to go back on Valtrex. <laughs> you know what? I got to tell you something, too. Uh... Mia told me, she's like, it, it really is weird working for you because, well, I, yeah, I put her ass to work too. Oh, okay. <laughs> that's why I brought over here from Turkey. Yeah, I, 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 man, I, cheap labor. Yeah, <laughs> I ordered her for a reason. You know? <laughs> <laughs> nah, she was, we were, I was, so, so here's the thing. So <laughs> I was, Sammy, I hear Sammy walking around. And for those who don't know, I'm letting Sammy stay at my place while we try to get him to join the DT family, which has been working out great so far, yeah. but I have to let him live with me because I, I had to get the money and the budget to pay him, and hopefully in six months he can help us get to that point. But he's staying with us so he can, I can save him some money. He can help me out, and we can work together on certain things. And I hear him walking around the living room, and I'm like, hey, Sammy, come here. I'm calling him from the bedroom. He's going. <laughs> yeah, he, so he walks yes. in. Yeah, Corey, what do you want? <laughs> hey, what's, hey, what's up, buddy? <laughs> yes, sir, boss. <laughs> but he walks in. And I'm sitting, and I'm laying there. And you draw. I got Mia in my arms. I'm laying up there, naked, man. I'm I'm not, Scarface. I got, I got, I got the. Yeah, I didn't have nothing on under those oh. covers, man. Oh. And I'm just sitting up there talking to him like it's nothing. Dish of cocaine on the side. Yeah. <laughs> I got me in my Mia. arms. <laughs> yeah. I got my Prince pose going on, you know. I got it barely over my over my penis, and I'm like, so hey, how's how that social media going, man? <laughs> <laughs> it's a power move shit. <laughs> this is all news to me about you being naked underneath that. Oh, yeah, man. You're oh, oh no, yeah. No, so, so he goes, Yo, Sammy. I go, okay. So I walk up and I walk in. I, I see the door cracked. He's shirtless. Mind you, now that he is uh now that he's Mia's home, he's just shirtless more often. I'm like, okay, that's fine. So Dude, back I, in the day he never wore shirts. I, yeah, I know. I tease him about how he was but, allergic to shirts. <laughs> <laughs> Matthew McConaughey took his title. <laughs> But, but see, I'm at, I'm at but, home now. But he had the he had the myself. when it was just me and him. He had the the courtesy to put a shirt on. Now he don't give a shit. <laughs> so <laughs> so he goes come in, and I see Mia hand around him, and I'm like, are you sure it's okay to come in? And he's like, yeah, it's fine. No, come on in, man. <laughs> and so come she's on. all sprawled out, and he's just there shirtless, like, hey, how's the site going? I'm like, really, motherfucker? You can't ask me any other time. You can't pull me aside. You can't text me. Because you'll, really you'll send me weird texts, too. It was on my mind weird at the time. Text. No, no. I swear to God. So I'll be in my room working, you know, my due diligence. Hey, come to my room. I swear to God, I got texts. Sorry if that sounds creepy. I'm like, I don't want to go. <laughs> and this was before Mia was there, so I didn't have no help if I was going to get attacked. You know, I attacked. The, the, the monarch and Dr. Girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And you're number 23. Yeah. <laughs> hey, man, I got to tell you these things while they're on my mind, you know. <laughs> Wait till I start calling you when I'm taking a shit. <laughs> hey, no. man, come here. Let me holler at you. <laughs> no. Like, 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 just, like LBJ. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> LBJ used to do that. Yeah. Yeah. Come in. Let me Call talk to Call his chief of staff in. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, man, boy, let me tell you something. Yeah, man. But I, I want to thank you for your dedication. No problem. No problem. But don't ever do that shit again, man. I should, I, put some goddamn underwear on at least. Sammy, you're not going to you, know. You're wasting your breath, bro. I know. This is <laughs> house. I, what, who am I to say, right? Yeah. But you, you I might have to start countering it and just yeah, start being brother, shirtless brother, naked and shit. Brother, I'm on You know, that's and, fine. And, uh, <laughs> I don't even want that. That's gross. Yeah, be, hey, man. You know, I'll, free love around my face. Hey, I'm just, <laughs> you're just hey. giving it away, Sam. <laughs> <laughs> well, apparently he's giving away. I didn't even know he was selling. So Yeah, you know, I'm just letting you know, man. I feel I feel very comfortable around you now. <laughs> so, <laughs> so you feel, and with hey, that. You feel free to be you too, man. See you later, brother. I'll I'm leave wait- the bags on the front when you get to, to the house. <laughs> <laughs> I'm waiting for it to be the middle of the night and you waking him up 
no pants on. Sammy, check this out. Check out this video. Like, <laughs> what? Oh, man, come on. <laughs> Where your drawers at, dude? <laughs> it's just flapping right by his eye. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> Hey, Sammy, check this out, man, right here. <laughs> For those who have been waiting on the reviews, let's go ahead and get into that. I love, love me some Key and Peel. You know, those two dudes on Comedy Central. I think the show just ended, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah one of the best comedy sketches or sketch shows out there. And a lot of people have been saying there's one of the members right there. I can't even tell them apart, though. Which one is that? Is that Key or Peel? That's Peel. Okay. I don't, I can't, Jordan Peel. Yeah. I don't know which one is which. I'll be honest with you. That's how much I love. That's how much you love. That's how much I love. <laughs> so. You can't tell the difference between two dudes who don't look anything alike. <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> Apparently, that's how racist I am, too. So, oh, people. I can't tell them biracial boys from apart from each other right there. And that's, that's the thing about them. They are biracial. A lot of people like their humor because they got a different perspective on life. And they say, man, these guys are smart. They're funny. And since of, Dave the, Chappelle ain't doing nothing. And these, since Dave <laughs> Chappelle ain't doing nothing. And they say, you know what? Dave Chappelle was very heavily about, you know, the black perspective. These guys, they kind of bring that in there, too. But, you know, they're kind of geeks, too, in a way. Oh, kind of yeah, nerdy. Yeah. And a lot of these people, and they got wide appeal. So a lot of people say, man, I can't wait for them to do a feature film. I mean, they appearing in shows together and everything. Do that movie now. Your prayers have been answered. With this right here, we have Key and Peele, who play cousins in this movie, and... I, you know, which one is that? The the, the round head one? The, the key. Key, key. <laughs> key round just got his. Head. Yeah, that, that here. Yeah, like, like, like the black Ernie and Bird. But, you know, Key uh, uh, key just broke up with his girlfriend. Peel. Peel. Peel just broke up with his girlfriend. <laughs> she dumped him, and the only thing that's getting him over that is Keanu the cat, the cutest cat in the world. Oh, Key's life is about to get Peel. back together. Peel. Peel's life is about to get back together. <laughs> oh, this cat has saved him. But would you know it? Somebody came in. And stole Keanu right from under them. And now they got to get them back. But the thing is, to get them back, they got to go to the underside of town. Hang out with the, 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 the true gangsters. The 19th Street Blips. They call them that because they got kicked out the bloods in the Crips. <laughs> call them the Blips. <laughs> On 19th Street. But what are these brothers going to do? Yeah, these, these two nerdy brothers. These two nerdy, corny-ass brothers right here. Well, now they have to try to act w what society sees as true black, be straight up hood, to get Keanu back. Now, the thing about this film right here is that, I, like I said, I love Key and Peele. I really do. I, and I, I'm sincere. Maybe I get the names wrong, but I'm very sincere. I haven't seen every episode, but every Key and Peele episode that I see, maybe it's the highlights, but they, they never cease to make me laugh hard. <laughs> they were the highlights when uh, they were on Mad TV together. Oh, yeah, 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 man. Keanu was the cat, and by now everyone knows that that has an extra added bonus of having, at some point in the movie, the voice of Keanu Reeves. And the thing about this is that, let me pull it over here. The thing about this is that while Key and Peele are very funny dudes, you cannot... There is no contest between how cute that cat is. That goddamn cat is so adorable, man. <laughs> My heart just melted. I've never, I've never seen an animal like this before. I want you to meet Keanu. That cat knows he's cute, too. You see that? That, that cat is not like any animal out there. That cat is fucking acting right now. Hello, Corey. Hello. <laughs> Look at that cat. He's posing. He Look is, at this shit. But he also has a way of looking... Like, he's oblivious to how cute he is. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you know, like it's a model. Like, it's like, oh, am I? I'm just, oh, I'm just looking over across oh, the street. Oh, I, I, oh, oh, me? Oh, I didn't even notice. Mm -hmm. This cat is, I ain't never seen. I know some models who can't even pose like this shit. What? He almost dropped the coffee. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, my God, that's the cutest cat I've ever seen in my life. Hello. I'm sorry, Keanu? Yeah. Okay. I think it means cool breeze in Hawaiian. Look, that cat's still looking at the camera, man. <laughs> cat got an ego and everything. Put that motherfucker in a Calvin Klein ad, man. <laughs> that cat is adorable. I, and that's the, I'm telling you, that's the reason why everybody wants to see this movie. Because they got that cat in, up in here, Keanu. And not to say that there aren't some good appearances in here. I don't know what you guys feel about this. Because I know, Martin, I know you don't always like the rappers when they do the acting and everything. But I, 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 I thought I've always thought Method Man. Oh yeah, yeah. I've always thought Method Man had a strong screen presence, man. 
I've always thought Method Man, you know the rapper from the Wu Tang Clan. I've always thought that he was uh that he was that he had a natural charisma. And as sort of the villain in this movie, he brings a charisma to that role. You know, uh, I heard how I went down at King Diaz's church. Well, you know, man, hey, that's how we do. You know, we got to do yeah. how we do. Oh, damn. <laughs> hey, don't worry about her, man. That's, that's Montana. I think uh, we need to uh, go to the bathroom yep. real quick. Oh, look who's up from their nap. But he ain't no challenge for that cat right there. <laughs> that cat is so goddamn cute. Is that even the same cat? I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> don't give a fuck. Most likely not. <laughs> I doubt it, but I'm a, in my mind it is. And you know what? It's, uh, it's probably a different cat in every scene. <laughs> and I, it's just by, by the time they got done finishing sh- filming, the, it was, the kitten was now a cat. I know. Man, they probably they probably killed cats up here. Man, they probably went through about 20 cats on this, on this motion picture right here. But I'm going to tell you something. Man, that cat really steals the show. Nobody, nobody can keep up with that, and it's so adorable. That cat's gonna have people just doing. Every cat in America is gonna be thugged out like that. <laughs> every every cat owner in America gonna be dressing up that cat like gang members, <laughs> putting fake gold chains around their neck. The cat's gonna be getting rashes and shit, throwing up gang signs with their paws and shit. I mean, <laughs> your cat got a green neck. <laughs> <laughs> Don't care. <laughs> my, cat, my cat's hard. <laughs> Man, I'm telling you, the, the cat is so goddamn adorable. And that's the problem with me for the movie. I, I was, I'm not going to say that I'm looking for the movie that I want. I was just kind of misled that Keanu would have a bigger role in this movie. <laughs> really? <laughs> uh, uh, only because, but you mean because his name was the title of the movie? Yes. <laughs> uh, yes. Uh, wait, so are you dinging the movie because there's a whole hour in the middle where the cat is not even a part of the story <laughs> and you completely forget that this was this started be, what, <laughs> out being about a cat? <laughs> man, yeah, exactly. Man, come on, man. Don't, don't, don't fuck with me on this, man. I mean, the whole, the whole, fu- the, the whole marketing campaign, they had, you know, they showing that cat. You don't see Key and Peele. It's, you know, they even say, you know, they don't even say, like, they got Key and Peele, like, a real small up here. Key and Peele present Keanu in big gold letters. And he's like, he, you don't ever see their pictures up there? You see Keanu. I'm just saying that I was misled to think that Keanu would be a bigger part of this motion picture right here. Oh, my son, you never learn anything. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, I don't. Yeah, I was Brian just... Cranston again. <laughs> Godzilla. Yeah. Here, you saw how they do things coming from a real black experience. I was, in this movie, they do the, uh, they're the corny brothers. You know, they're the, they're the geeky... Not, not the Cohen brothers. Not the Cohen brothers. <laughs> the the Cohen corny brothers. brothers. They're the guys that are, you know, they're geeks. They're, they're family guys. You know, one guy dresses like a soccer dad, got a fucking picnic uh, cloth on his <laughs> foot shirt and shit. The other dude looked like a piece of bubble gum wearing, it, <laughs> wearing that, <laughs> that, 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 that lime-colored hoodie. So you got a black hipster and a black family man. And the whole thing that you see here, and it starts out pretty funny because you get to see how they riff on each other and ad lib. I mean, they're great and they're gifted sure. in that area. You know, they had to fit in as down and what society sees real black dudes as they go to the darker part of town trying to talk to gangs to get their cat back. Yeah, pop the collar. Uh, okay. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> That's what the kids are doing. Not really. I can't tell you how many weekends Martin and I went out and it started out just like that. <laughs> Me and Martin yeah, went I thought, that, I thought about that while I watched it, too. <laughs> I was, was kind of uncomfortable while watching it. I was like, hey, that, that looks familiar. <laughs> you watching us? <laughs> Me and Martin look just like that. Hey, buddy, you ready? <laughs> Wait, is, in this movie, is, is Cheddar uh, Method Man? Yeah. 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 Oh, okay. So they did there's something on, like, uh, on The Wire. His name is Cheese. So they probably oh. took that from... Uh, I'm sure yeah. they did, yeah, Okay, man. yeah. I'm sure nice, they man. did. The night is still young, Martin. <laughs> you know? Come on, my friend. <laughs> Those beers won't drink themselves. <laughs> and I thought it was kind of cool at first because I say, all right, you know, you're going you're gonna to start acting black and make a comment about that later. You're dropping M-bombs all over the place. Mm-hmm. Nigga bleed, nigga that, nigga that. And I thought, all right, you know, I can, I, I can kind of get with this. Very smart, Key and Peele. <laughs> and then they kept going and going, and it was no real statement. I'm like, did Quentin Tarantino write this shit right here? I was like, uh, is the, where's the commentary? When's the cat going to come back? You know, what's the, what's the point of all this? And the thing is, it really, it, for me, there really is no point. It's just a one-joke movie and an old joke at that. And that's what they do in their show, and they just had to kind of crowbar that in. It really feel natural. They dress up as these two... These two, uh, I guess, uh, Latin gangsters, uh, Latin killers. And that gives these guys an excuse just to act with each other in the same scene as they're in different costumes. Oh. What? Oh, you know what? 
you don't know who you messing with because you're being crazy disrespectful right now. Hey, if you touch one hair on my cat's head, I will kill you! Even though he can scream. <laughs> Put yeah. that mother in a horror movie. <laughs> I ain't never seen a mouth that big on a black man before. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and, and you know what? A good job for them, though, because I got to admit, when it first started out, I didn't really know that that was it. I thought one of them was Danny Trejo at first. So, <laughs> <Right. you know? laughs> so, I mean, I give it to him, but I don't know, man. Like I said, this is getting good reviews out there. I I know you guys I'm, looking I'm, at I'm surprised you're so, you're so down on it because cause, uh, I saw it at South by Southwest, and the audience loved it. I mean, they were like, they were cheering, people were wiping water from their eyes. They were like, man, it was so much funnier than I expected. And um, I was kind of shocked because I had slept through the movie. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, wow. Well, he was very tired. I, I mean, <laughs> drunk uh, too. <laughs> I mean, honestly, like, it, got, it got going, and I was like, huh. Because like, I was excited for it, but I remember we showed the trailer, and you were like, I don't know, man. I, I'm looking at this trailer and I'm feeling like maybe all the funny stuff is here. It's just going to be like one of their long sketches that goes on too long. And I was like, man, that ain't true. These guys are, are geniuses. Why would you even say something like that? Yeah, I remember you on my ass about that. And 10 minutes in, it hit me that, oh shit, I think he's right. <laughs> and, and as much I, as I like hearing those words, you know, I, I, I didn't predict anything. And, I was just going by my feelings. And I was just in and out of sleep through the whole time. But every time I wake up and watch some of it, I was just like, I'm, this is just not funny to me at all. But the audience was cracking up. And I had people I know, because I was like, maybe it's just that festival audience thing, because they showed up. And, you know, if the, if the creators, the actors, or directors show up at a screening at South by Southwest, the audi audience goes nuts. Oh, yeah. And I had people, I, I, you know, who I'm good friends with, who was just like, man, that movie was hilarious. It's too bad you slept through it. Like, they were, like, looking at me with disdain. I was like, <laughs> you got to reevaluate your friendship. <laughs> no, you're getting surrounded by people. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, but it was one of those things where I'm like, you know what, man? You, you know what? You guys are right. I I can't judge this movie. I got to watch it again. That's why I, I went to the screening you were at. I was like, I, I can't be fair to it till I watch it again. Because, you know what? It could be, like, I was just too tired. I was not in the, in the best mood, everything. Let me sit down and watch it again. And it took no time before I was just like, Nope, I was, I was dead on the first time. I was I was dead on it. I was I was like even I had some other friends there who I told about my experience, and they came out. They were like, "Man, you shouldn't have come a second time because you were right the first time." That was a this movie was. See, they saw the movie. Listen yeah, to yeah. it. Or somebody took their cat. I know. Keanu. I mean, it's it's. I mean, you know, like I said, I you know, I love these guys. I respect their talent and their, you know, how how smart they usually are. Um, I, this movie to me was a disaster. The whole thing of like we got to do this to get my cat back, that disappears at some point for so long <laughs> that when a cat comes back in, you're like, oh yeah, I forgot there yeah. was a cat in this thing. <laughs> yeah, they bring out stars in the. Now I'll tell you, they got some funny cameos in there. Yeah. You know, they got well, they got one, and even they, when I say funny, it's the probably one of the funniest things in the movie. But they could have done something better with Except that. It goes on way too. It long. It goes on way too long, but to where it stops me. <laughs> it's funny because that whole sequence, like. When I saw it the first time, I completely slept through that. So that was brand new to me. I, I don't hate the film. I got some chuckles out of it. I mean, that's, but like I said, that's about it. All I got was some chuckles. Uh, this is a film. I hate to put this on these guys, but this is something where they're used to working in a short format. And just like with a lot of Saturday Night Live sketches, when you put them in a feature-length format, they don't know how to stretch it out. They don't know how to fill in gaps. Well, whoever wrote this. And they didn't write this themselves. That's, they, they, that's the problem. I mean, yeah. I mean th these guys are, are fine actors. It's just whoever wrote it didn't, you know, wasn't up to snuff. And whoever directed it is clumsy or, or, or new to the game. Yeah, yeah. They, they, don't have enough, they don't have enough tricks in their bag to know how to keep something like this going. If they don't have enough common sense to get Key and Peele to write a good chunk of it, <laughs> this movie deserves what it's probably going to Honestly, get. Honestly, I was watching it and I was like... They are making me miss the ride along movies. Oh, oh damn! Well, I, I, I wouldn't. Yeah. I wouldn't go that far. I, <laughs> I, would, I would. I would. But anyway, I. I don't know what to tell you. I ain't gonna go on too long with this. Uh, I'm giving this uh, just a mediocre rental because these guys could do a lot better, I think. But hey, you know that's my opinion. Apparently, everybody else liked it. What can I tell you? Well, that's everybody else. This show isn't everybody else. Uh, what, what I can man, say man, is like just, you can <laughs> mad at me, brother. I didn't make the movie. <laughs> How dare you bring up other people's thoughts? I uh, know. Yeah, you did. Uh, uh, <laughs> well, I bet to differ, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, yeah. Well, they didn't work. Yeah, I mean, you know, based on what we've seen of these guys and how much is anticipated, it's a colossal disappointment that it can't sustain its its humor like it should. Uh, yeah, it's some old bullshit. <laughs>
Really? Whoa. Yeah. Damn. I don't blame you, man. I mean, for, for somebody who really appreciates what these guys can do, I can see his point right there. So, yeah, you know, whatever, whatever. A lot of people seem to lo- love this shit. So, I mean, like I said, that cat like is I said, getting- I said, I was in a theater full of them. Yeah, that cat is getting people, man. And let you know it works, my girl made me. She made. She said, you know, be funny for this show. If we make Mojo like Keanu, she made, <laughs> she made me take a man. She, she, made, she loves that cat. She made me. I'm not bullish. She, people... It's not me. She she made me take this picture right here. She she made me she made me do this shit. I didn't want to do it. So, so you look miserable. I mean, I don't want to do this. Man, I don't want to do it. I don't want to take that picture. But she said it. people would love gangster mojo. I was like, all right, man. Like Aunt Jemima with a gold chain on. And you know what? And I looked at her and I said. Bitch, <laughs> taking that picture. You're talking to Mojo. Yeah, I told her. <laughs> I know. I told Mojo. <laughs> <laughs> bitch, let's do this shit and get it over with. <laughs> Mojo's like, yeah, man, bitches, right? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I heard you. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, he does look kind of badass. Right there. He look like an angry black mom. He's <laughs> like ain't your mama, man. You should be making pancakes right now. Yeah. Like, hey, mama needs some money for lunch. Get my purse. Yeah. And he's like, his thought bubble would be, ain't nobody got time for this. Yeah. <laughs>